my god, that is so freaking nasty, dude. Ah, oh, look at, oh my, oh, what is that? Oh, girl, mm -mm. what is that? Oh, there's more over here. That might have been me because I've been moving them like around from box to box. That might have been me or that might be in the packaging. Hmm. Hey Vita Chips, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be filming a microscope video. So you guys have been requesting to bring back the microscope. And if you're not familiar and you're new here to my channel, I have previously filmed three or four microscope videos. So if you want to check those out, they will be linked down below in the description box. So for today, I was like, you know what? We're gonna look at makeup under the microscope and see what it's all about. But this is not just any makeup. These are YouTubers makeup collaborations that they have done with other makeup brands. So I thought it'd be super fun if we just Take a look at the makeup and see what it looks like up close and personal so if you're here because you wanted some tea girl there's no tea here we're just gonna look at makeup under the microscope and see what's really inside of the makeup so we have some Jacqueline Hill we have James Charles Britman Rock Jeffree Star Amber Scholl and then we also have the color changing foundation because you guys really wanted to see what this looked like under the microscope so I was like you know what the microscope is so much fun so without any further ado let's go ahead and let's get started Okay guys, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with this lipstick. So if you've been watching my videos for quite some time, then you might remember that they sent me this lipstick in my peel box. And it's actually very interesting. Let's put it that way. So I wanna see what this looks like under the microscope up close and personal. So this is what it looks like. Let me focus it a little bit more. All right, there we go. That's what it looks like from top to bottom. So all I'm gonna say is, girl, this lipstick has veins. Mm. So <laughs> this is the lipstick. We're gonna move on to the ColourPop and Bretman collection So I really like the packaging of the lip bundle. This is what lit looks like under the microscope Okay, and then moving on to the actual lip bundle. I really like the lip gloss. It's really really pretty Let's do a quick little swatch so you can see what this one looks like once you swatch it. Oh girl That is so pretty <gasps> Look at that. Oh my god. That looks so nice. Okay, Let's look at that wand. Ooh, that is so pretty. I really like it. Look at that. That kind of looks like caramel. That looks really nice. The color is just super pretty. Now let's look at the eyeshadow palette. So let's see what Britman looks like under the microscope. Let's see. Where is his face? Hold up, girl. Why is it backwards? There we go. Damn, look at Bretman. Yes, you see that highlight right there? That nose contour? Okay, I see you. So this is the packaging. Now let's look at the actual palette. Oh, see, like this one has a lot more glitter in the letters. I actually created a couple looks with this palette and I really did like it. Now let's look at Clair Amour, which is a yellow shade. That is what it looks like. This kind of looks like mustard. It's like yellow with some little red spots inside. And then let's look at Mercy. This is one of my favorite shades. Oh, look how pretty that looks. I always like how full shadows or sparkly shadows look underneath the microscope. They just look so pretty. And then let's look at She Got Money. And it's that one. Oh, that one looks really pretty as well. It looks like Mercy. And then let's look at Like. Okay, this one is just like a plain red shadow. So this was the Bretman Rock and ColourPop collection. Oh, and I also really want to see what the Glitterly Obsessed looks like. This is their body glitter. Look at that. Oh, this is going to be so pretty. Let me open it up. This is the glitter. Oh, oh my god. Wow. Okay, let's do a quick little swatch. Let me swatch it for you guys real quickly. Okay, so this is what it looks like once you do a swatch. Oh, look how pretty that looks, guys. That is gorgeous. And then you can see like my actual skin there and the glitter. This is one of my favorite glitters that I tried. Once I tried this glitter, I was like obsessed with it. Okay, next we're gonna move on with this mascara that I previously tested out in a video. Now, allegedly this mascara is supposed to make your lashes super, super long. So I really wanna see what the wand looks like under the microscope. So here we go. It looks like it has pieces of fiber, which I'm thinking that is what's supposed to make your lashes super long, as you can see. That looks really gross. Oh, it looks like really yucky and nasty. Look at that. 
Whoa, that looks super weird. So I tested out the color changing foundation and a lot of you guys were telling me to actually see what it looks like under the microscope and also a lot of you guys were telling me that maybe it didn't change to my skin tone color because I didn't blend it with the warmth of my fingers. So I'm gonna put that to the test today. So I actually also found something that freaked me out in the packaging which is this little dot right here. I'm pretty sure you can't see it but let me show you up close. This right there oh my oh what is that oh girl mm -mm. what is that okay where is the one that I was talking about it's a little bit hard I haven't used a microscope in a long time so I'm getting the hang of it again that I wanted to know what the heck that was because it's not in the foundation it looks like more in between the packaging and the foundation, which was really weird. But I really want to know what the heck that is because it's just, I don't know. Girl, what is that? Look at that. Does that all look gross? Like, now I'm really curious, what the heck is that? And there's another one on this side. Let me show you that right there. Do you see that? Like, what is that? I really, really want to know what the heck that is. Okay, so, see those little speckles inside the foundation? I don't think that should be there. So we're gonna do a few pumps, probably just one. There we go. And this is what I was trying to show you guys. This is what it looks like up close. Do you see it's all white? And then it has those like little black speckles inside, those little dots right there. That is what I was really curious to know what the heck that was. I don't know if those are the ones that are supposed to have like a little bit of color and make it, you know, blend to your skin tone color and match. So I'm going to blend this out and see if maybe the warmth of my fingers actually helps it change to my skin tone color, which I really doubt it because... I did so much blending, girl. It was still, I looked like Casper. <laughs> okay, guys, so I'm a little shook because the freaking foundation actually worked. What the heck? This is actually my skin tone color. Oh my god. So I guess you do have to use the warmth of your fingers to make the foundation match your skin tone color. Oh my god, dude, I'm like pff, mind blown right now. Because when I put it on my face with the beauty blender or like my sponge that I use, it almost made me look like Casper. Like it was blending into my skin tone color but not as much and I still look like I just had like a white cast on my face. Okay, let's see what this looks like under the microscope. So that's basically my skin with the foundation. But I'm just so mind blown that it actually did change to my skin tone color. Okay, now we're gonna move on with the Amber Show collection that she did come up with a Shop Hush. Now the first thing is her lip gloss, which is actually really pretty, is in the shade Daddy. That is what it looks like on the packaging. Now let's go to the actual wand and see what this looks like. Ooh, that looks so fuzzy and everything. Look at the wand, how it looks. That is so interesting, guys. Okay, so here are the highlights, as you can see. We're gonna start off with After Hours. Oh, look at that. Look, if I don't focus it a lot, does it not look blinding already, like super sparkly? And then when I focus it, that's where all the good stuff is at. We're gonna move on to Like a Lady. That one's really nice too. Let's move on to her eyeshadow palette. Okay, so this is her eyeshadow palette and they're literally all shimmers. I think she has like three or four matte ones. This is pre nup We're gonna move on to all natural. This is more of like a rich brown shadow. And you can see what they use to press down the pigments, like the shadows. You can see the pattern that it leaves on the shadows right there. And then let's do Pretty Please. This one's a really pretty color. Those are the spaces that I'm talking about. I wonder what that is right there. Okay, so for Jeffree Star Cosmetics, I want to look at the lip ammunition. And this one is an Allegedly. It's kind of like a little bullet. And we're going to see what the Jeffree Star logo looks like. Okay, and then we're going to open it up. You can already see that I used it there. Okay, now let's do a couple of swatches. Ooh, girl, this is a little bit dirty. That had to be me for sure. Like, there's a hair right there, ooh. Okay, let's do one swatch. It's more of like a matte slash satin finish. Okay, now this is the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick, and this one is in Fudge Pop. And that says Jeffree Star Cosmetics. All right, ooh, what is that? Do you see that? Oh my God, dude, that is so that looks like, I don't know if it's a hair or what it is, right there, do you see it? 
It looks like it's with the packaging inside. It even has like an air bubble. Okay. And then that, oh, there's more over here. That might have been me because I've been moving them like around from box to box. That might have been me or that might be in the packaging. Hmm. Let me know what you think. So that is the color itself, which is a really pretty shade. Let's swatch this. It's a really pretty lipstick. Look how that shines. Oh, that looks so nice. Okay, we're gonna move on to the Jeffree Star Skin Frost Highlighting Powders. And I have Mint Condition, Dark Horse, and Regina George. So let's do Regina George, which is a bright pink color. I really wanna see what the logo looks like. Ooh, what is that? Hold on, hold on. Do you see that little black fiber there? It kinda looks like a hair. I wonder, there's actually two pieces so it looks really nice but you can definitely see the two different shades as you can see there's more of like a whitish pink color and then there's like the really dark pink so that layer that you guys see that looks kind of whitish that is where they basically stamped down the logo where it says the Jeffree Star logo now we're going to move on to brushes these are the brushes from the James Charles collection by Morphe so the reason I really want to look into these brushes is because I recently started using a new brush cleaner so I started using cinema secrets which I remember we used to use in beauty school. So the way I used to wash my brushes was basically just with a Dawn soap and just warm water, and I would just clean them with my hand. But I remember that Cinema Secrets used to be super good to remove all the makeup, at least that's what I think. So I really wanna know if the Cinema Secrets cleaner actually did work or if it didn't. So let's see, let's use this one. So it looks pretty clean. Ooh, mm, not really. But I want to see the inside like there's no leftover product, right? So it looks pretty clean I think it just got a little bit dirty It was because of me that I touched right now and I have like a whole bunch of glitter and just loose pigments in my hands of like swatching a whole bunch of items, but ooh, What is that girl? That's like a black fiber look at something that I would use for like concealer But this one didn't uh-uh this one it did not clean it so well Look at the top. Ooh, what is that? It's like greenish and there's a lot of glitter left, like a lot of glitter residue on the brush. That should have all been gone with the Cinema Secrets cleaner. Why didn't I take it off? Girl, that's weird. Okay, now let's do this one, this very fluffy one. Okay, so this one seems pretty clean. I don't feel like there's anything really dirty in here. Let's look at the very bottom. Usually here's where like all the makeup gets stuck, but it looks pretty clean to me at least. Let me know what you think, girl. I have my Morphe blender here as well. Yay, it's finally clean. If you guys have seen my other videos, usually my blenders are hella dirty, girl. <laughs> and this one's actually pretty clean. Ugh. Okay, next we're gonna do the James Charles palette by Morphe. So I left my lashes dried on top of the palette and look what happened. Let me show you up close. This is basically dry out glue oh my god that is so freaking nasty dude ah oh, hold on no 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 wait 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 gets even better look at that what is that that is so gross I have to clean this palette and then look there's this one over here as well it has like glitter oh that looks nasty that is really gross now I really want to see what this purple shadow here looks like underneath the microscope because as you can tell it's one of my favorite shadows look how pretty that looks okay that hair right there I think it's mine <laughs> It's such a beautiful color. I love the way it shines. Let me show you what this looks like when I get it all dirty. Hold on. That is what the packaging looks like. That is the purple shadow <laughs> that I literally almost hit pan on. And then right there is in between the palette where it's all dirty. I seriously need to clean this palette. If you think I need to clean this palette, wait till you see the Jacqueline Hill palette. Girl. If you know how I can clean this palette, please let me know in the comments down below because I have tried everything, I mean everything, to clean this palette and I just cannot get it to be clean. Look how dirty that is. Let me show you this right here. This is also... Oh my god, that one has to be the nastiest thing I've seen today. Oh my god. This is also leftover eyelash adhesive that I put there. I have this habit of putting my lashes on top of my palette to let them dry. That is so freaking gross. Okay, that has to be the grossest thing I've seen so far. That is disgusting. Okay, let's look at the other one next to it. Oh my god. 
Yeah, I definitely need to clean this palette. Girl, let me know in the comments down below how I can clean it. Now let's move on to the shadow. Let's look at the one that I had pan on. As you can see, that is the metal pan right there. And then that is the actual shadow. Okay, now let's do this one right here. So this one, as you can see, it has a lot of different colors. The very top layer of the shadow is a fallout. You know how sometimes you swirl your brush all over the place and then the shadow next to it gets a little bit of the shadow that you were swirling? This is what happened. It's just fallout from the other shadow next to it. Okay guys, so that concludes today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I really like when I just take out the microscope and get to see what's really inside of makeup. Sometimes we see some pretty stuff and then sometimes we see some pretty nasty stuff. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe so you can be part of the Pirachev family and turn on your post notifications trust me make sure to turn on your post notifications and subscribe because I will be announcing the 400k giveaway rules and what I'm giving and all the instructions pretty soon I was supposed to announce it in today's video but I still need to go out and purchase a couple of more items because I'm actually going to be doing two different giveaways one for YouTube and one for Instagram so I feel like I just want to add as many items as I can and they're all gonna be makeup related so make sure to stay tuned for that and you're not gonna want to miss it other than that guys that is it for this video really hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys on the next one bye my loves